Hey guys, it's the Mad Lad in Pulse again with another video. You already know how we do it here, so where's your water? Wow! So last week I promised y'all a video on the three types of superchargers. Let's go! So here we are. Which one do you guys think is the best? The twin screw, the roots, or the centrifugal supercharger? Let's find out. We'll start off with the positive displacement variants. First up is the twin screw. Positive displacement means regardless of the engine speed, it's pushing a specific amount of boost. Basically, we're making full boost at idle. Yeah! and along the linear power being added throughout the engine speed. So as it revs up, the same amount of boost is getting input. This one works by compressing the air and the casing with the two screen-like rotors. So that's how we got the name, the twin screw. Then it sends air into the engine and it's a bit more complicated and more expensive, but it's still a top mount blower like the root supercharger. This type of supercharger is really good at the lower ends of the RPMs, but it kind of drops off once you reach the top end. And the parasitic draw on these are big, but they're not too bad. Boost is also delivered quickly on these. And they're more efficient than the root supercharger and they run a little bit cooler so if you live in hot areas this one might be your first choice if money isn't an issue however they will benefit from an intercooler like the roots now on to the roots supercharger this one is also a positive displacement supercharger and is also top mounted like the twin scroll so it's on top of the engine and sits right on that beach the root supercharger is the most common type of supercharger you'll see it on the ctsvs and those stock vehicles that come with the supercharger where the root and the twin screw are different is how they make boost the root supercharger makes boost similar to the twin scroll however the air is compressed in the actual engine in the intake manifold instead of where the supercharger is located at so it works more like an air pump force feeding it. Where the root supercharger sucks, it's being efficient. It's not the most efficient. And in long terms of usage, like let's say you put it on a truck and you're towing, it's gonna suck because it's gonna have so much heat that it eventually will lose power and it won't be as efficient. Are you serious right now, bruh? Now, the most unconventional supercharger of all the three of them. This one's big in aftermarket and it's huge in the car culture. Most people know them as pro chargers. However, that's just the brand that makes these types of superchargers. These ones are very similar to turbos and they work very similar. We're talking about the centrifugal supercharger. These ones work like turbos. Instead of using exhaust gases to spin up the turbo, they use the crankshaft like the other two. So they need to spin really fast to make boost just like a turbo. So it just doesn't spin fast at low RPM. So it doesn't have the traditional sense of a supercharger where the power is instant. It just has a better power band because it revs up with the engine. It makes big boost high RPMs. This is where the last two and the centrifugal supercharger really diverge because the positive displacement one will make similar power band throughout. The centrifugal one varies as the engine's revving. Centrifugal superchargers are really effective and they make the best heat displacement since they are so efficient and they're not actually on top or touching the block. Yeah, e minor, all right, yeah. They can be positioned anywhere on the engine basically where you can put the crank in it, still be on the belt. So like the sides of it, so it doesn't necessarily have to go on top. That's what she said. <laughs> like the positive displacement supercharger. These also tend to be the cheapest and most affordable ones. So that's a big W. That's a W, that's E1. So in my opinion, I would get, personally me myself, I would get the twin scroll supercharger. Oh brother, this guy stinks. If I wanted the benefits of the turbo instead of the benefits of a traditional supercharger, I would just go with the turbo. It just makes more sense to me. Why would I want a centrifugal supercharger when there's just a turbo? However, out of these three, it does seem like the centrifugal supercharger is the best out of all of them because it's got the best heat displacement, the best
best power band and it just it's just good it's just really freaking good man yep but like i said me personally if i was in the market of a supercharger i would want the instant power that comes with the supercharger not the power band of a turbo like i said if i just wanted the power band of a turbo i would just get the turbo you know what i'm saying i'm kind of retarded do you guys agree with me or do you just think i'm freaking stupid but yep drop your thoughts and opinions down below if you guys want the twin scroll, the roots, or the centrifugal, which one do you think is better? Just go ahead and drop your thoughts and opinions down there. And while you're down there, drop a like. If you guys are curious to see which one has better benefits, the supercharger or the turbo, watch this video right here. It's been Impulse Boys, drive safe, and I hope to catch y'all in the next one. Peace.